The goddess of death has invaded Asgard. Destiny has dire plans for you, my friend. Well, I have dire plans for destiny. I'm going to stop her. Alone? Nope. It's me, Loki, the big guy. And you. Here we go! Did you see that? Thor Ragnarok, rated PG-13, everywhere November 3rd. Thor Ragnarok was directed by Taika Waititi, the guy who brought us Hunt for the Wilder People, a movie I'm yet to watch. And it stars Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Kate Blanchett as Hela, Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster, Mark Ruffalo, Hulk, and right off the bat, this is the best Thor movie in the entire MCU. Better than the first one, and of course better than that thing that was The Dark World, which, although not completely disastrous, was still kind of a boring movie. And in this one, Thor, after the events of Age of Ultron, has gone after the Infinity Stones, and he lands on Sakaar, Planet Hulk storyline, and blah blah blah, greeting, you know the drill. Tiger YTT, I wasn't really sure about the man. I mean, after the trailers for Ragnarok came out, I was like, this is not what... I was expecting from a Ragnarok movie, like so lighthearted and thing. I know it's Marvel, like everything's got to be fun, but I was expecting something else. And after seeing the movie, the tone is really perfect, tons of good laughs, it's not Guardians of the Galaxy laugh, not at all, and everyone is giving their best. Now coming to the villain, Hela, she's good, I mean, she does a job, but for the three MCU movies that we've gotten so far this year, Vulture is still a better villain overall, of course better than Ego and Hela, but I'd say Hela is the second best, Ego the third, I mean, and as always with Marvel to be expected is the action's great. There's a lot of CGI, a lot of green screen, but it's always it's this it's fun, it's enjoyable, and Chris Hemsworth and Mark Ruffalo has great chemistry together. This bromance is really present. Whether Mark Ruffalo is in Hulk form, the really the banter between each between them is excellent. And Post credit scenes, the first one is really important, it's setting up things like we know what's coming next year, next year, right? Infinity War. And the second one was kind of not as lame as the homecoming second post credit, but still there just to one to have one final laugh. And overall, great movie. Really enjoyed it, much better than any of the previous Thor movies, and although it kept its fun tone, Ragnarok is, I mean, Ragnarok has more stakes, I mean, going into it, I expected it to have, because it's Thor Ragnarok, but compared to Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 and Spider-Man Homecoming, this one had more stakes, and by the end of it, you kind of felt it. Some things have changed. Not, it not, it's still the MCU, guys. It's not like a big thing has changed. Let's keep that for Infinity War. But for what this movie was, the change that happened within the universe of the MCU, it was a good place, a good time for it to happen, and it was really great, guys. I'm gonna give Marvel's Thor Ragnarok an A. Really enjoy it, see it when it comes out, phenomenal. As always guys, thanks for watching, give a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I still got reviews for Lego Ninjago and Kingsman The Golden Circle coming up, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.
My destiny is to rule all others. On November 3rd, we're running out of time. Experience the film critics call a majestic spectacle. It's a triumph. Ask God, it's not a place. It's a people. The boldest Marvel film yet. Now, those people need your help. Shall we? After you. Thor Ragnarok. Rated PG-13. Get tickets now.